Hello everybody, I'm TF Gaming, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2, and today we're going to do career mode, and I have a quick little thing to make. I am voicing over this video, and the reason is, I made two videos, and when I went to go edit them, I realized my microphone was off, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to voice over the video so you guys have an idea of what is going on. So, this is just us trying to get our next hot seat offer. And we will get one at, I believe, Charlotte. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. Yes, it is this one. And so we get an offer for Charlotte. And we need to get a top 22 with Premium Motorsports. So, we'll quickly get to qualifying. Or even, you know, skip that. Because, as you guys probably know, we're going to qualify in 31st, but this is important here, I, I changed the, um, I changed the rate, the tire wear and fuel consumption to times three. Okay, here we are, at the race, we're 31st, and we're off, we have Dozen over there to our left, switch to our hood cam, our gear is on, we're serious about this, we're making good progress, we're already up to 28th, now we lose the pack ahead of us, but that's not to worry, we're gonna catch right back up to them. We have Mills over there, now to our outside, and Jennifer Drew Cobb ahead. And we have Corbin Forrester sitting in 25th. Ooh, we hit Cobb, that's a big bump, and that sets us back a little. But the good news is that we're we'll back on throttle. Here comes Corbin Forrester now. Or really, here we come. Forrester. Give him a little bump on the inside, and we have put ourselves in 25th position. Our next step is to get past Jennifer Joe Cobb here in 24th. Inside's not going to work. We're going to go to the outside. We're going to split it three wide for the turn, possibly. No, we're going to go high, and we're going to use an advantage we have through the cars on the turn and put ourselves in 24th. And ooh, we're on the outside here with the Joe Neva check to our inside. I don't like being on this outside because it's rather shaky. I don't know where the AI car on the inside is. And we hit Young. Don't spin out. If it spins out, this could end badly. And we want to finish basically inside of our uh, requirement for the stage. And we get past Young. We hit Quapple. And we're now racing with Gillen for 21st. We have damage, aero damage, red on the front, and some radiator, but it doesn't seem too bad, it's not affecting us, tire wear is good, and wow, we're making our way through this field very well, Tommy Joe Martins is ahead of us, and it looks like we're going to finish the stage in 20th, considering that there's only half a lap left to go, now out of back stretch to 3 and 4, outside of Martins, we're going to try and make a move, to get past it, that way we can restart on the inside, we give him a bump, they were side by side, coming to the line, and we finish in 20th either way, which means we're on the outside, but we are inside of our requirement, which is good, but also bad, because again, we're in 20th, and we're going to be on that outside lane, and the outside is tough, oh, here we are, got some cars pitting, should we pit, or should we not? We have 13 laps. If we pit now and we take everything, we should be able to make it to the end. Turn up our tape, that way we will be faster, and turn the wedge down. We will take everything else and we'll be in the back, but oh no. We did not fit in time, and now we've been sent all the way up here. We've gained a lot of position, but we're on old stuff and everyone else is on new stuff. So this is very bad and very good. So this could have just ruined our race here right now. But. We're off to another good start. We get past Friesen and Snyder. Now we have John Hunter Nemechek, which is ahead of us. Looks like he's going to pull away. And now it's the blocking game. Blocking all the cars behind us. So we're going to have to throw crazy blocks to try and get these guys. Okay, on the inside, on the inside. Don't let them out. Ooh, we let off the throttle. We can't get tight during, during the corner. Now... Here he comes on the outside, Snyder on the outside, we've lost pretty much the rest of the field. You gotta concentrate. 
Can you let anything happen? Oh no! We're on the banking! Oh, we wreck! We're on the outside wall! There's a crashing! And the caution comes out, and we will finish stage in eighth. Well, that's not good, because if our pitch strategy were to work out, I don't know, but we're going to finally be able to pit, and we've got easily the fastest car on the field, and we're going to get past everyone on here. No one's going to stand our chance. We have how many laps left? It looks like nine. Nine laps left to the stage, and that real tape you can already see is making the big, biggest difference. We're going through these guys. We are much faster than them. We're on the first turn, so we're all kind of the same. But you guys are going to see coming in the three four on next lap too. We're much faster than the rest of them. Much, much faster. On the inside, killing the bump. He's gonna get loose. Oh, don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. A caution right now could be very bad, which means there could be more trucks pitting, and there seems to be a check on the outside. We're gonna make position through there. We have we have Bell in 21st, Smith beside us, and I think, and we are, oh no, oh no, we're getting loose. Why does Smith have so much damage on his truck? I just noticed that right there. Okay, two, three, and four again. There's Greenfield. We're gonna pass him, put ourselves in 19th. We're kind of in a pack of trucks, by the looks of it. Smith is number 18, and he's right there. He's, we're gonna catch up back. We're gonna catch back up to him to try and take his position. Give him a bump, we'll give him a bump. And, oh, nothing happens. He just gets pushed and keeps going forward. And now we got to block the cars behind us. We have Gillen trying to make a move on that outside. Greenfield, though we're much faster than him on the turns. We let up on the outside. We're able to get past them. Big moves. We're going to get past Smith and put ourselves in 15th position. Or no, we're in the grass a little. We're going to lose some time. We're racing neck and neck with Johnny Sauter, I think. We're going to try and split the middle, possibly. It's getting intense. Oh no, don't even check up ahead. He gets in the wall. Big check up on the outside. The 50 spinning his tires. And we've got a lot of positions, but we've got a lot of cars also challenging us at the same time. What just happened there? I think we had uh, Joni Machek get loose, slide up. He hit that wall. And then basically slowed up everyone else. And looks like we have four laps to go. We've got Bell and the other guys in front of us. We are in 14th position, well inside. A top 15 finish would be very good here for us. Just a little bit of damage. And 12 laps of fuel left, and our tires are also in decent condition. Everything is working in our favor. We're going to finish this race. Just a couple more laps to go. Got to concentrate. Uh oh, look who's in our mirror. The other truck's behind us. I think they might try to go for a pass. I'm not sure. They're fast, and we're definitely not going as fast. They're definitely been catching. Must be the track that we lost. Oh, yeah, no, they're definitely catching. They're definitely catching. Give it a couple, another lap or two. Oh, yeah, no. This is, they're getting big runs now. That's a big run. That's a big run. We'll be blocking the blocking Forrester. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna get to our outside. And Bell, oh no, we're loose. We're loose. And we're able to push him back up the track. And oh wow, Smith's truck looks terrible. Looks like it, it's, it's, uh, the hood is now a, a potato chip or something. And we got a block Crafton. Block Crafton and Smith. Can't let him get past us. It's getting too dangerous now. Oh no, oh no, we're loose, we're loose. Position 17, if we keep moving at this pace, we're gonna finish outside. It's gonna be back, if we're on the block party, it's the last lap. Concentrate, concentrate, don't let him get past us. Block, block, block. Through one and two, we're really struggling now. We're definitely struggling. On the back stretch, 
probably for the final time. Here we come. We're on both of our sides. We're here trying to shut us out. We get Smith off. We get the inside. Oh no, we hit the wall. We're in the grass. Oh no! Finish 20th. Oh wow. Okay, I couldn't get back on the track otherwise we would we would have spun out. That was completely luck that we were able to finish ahead of two other trucks just there. Wow. I want to see uh, a replay. Okay, here we are. Yeah, let's get a good view of this. Top view. We'll use this view. You see Johnny Machek up there. He slides up, gets loose on the wall, hits the wall. Everyone else gets slowed. There's smoke. Tires are spinning. There's people on the outside. Solder and I believe the 22 car, Yaley. Yeah, they were also able to make good time from that. Basically, the middle lanes got checked up. Okay. Let's get another view. Yeah, big checking up there. Big checking up. And one last view of this pack that we were in. It looked like Daytona racing at Charlotte almost. Didn't look like that in the mirror, but on the replay. Okay. Can we get a different view of that, maybe? Okay. And that's going to be all for today. We finished 30 sec. We finished inside of our requirement. We do well. Let's finish the event. Let's head back, see what we get. And what we get, wow, $12,000, that's good. Let's accept that, and they're going to keep us in mind for next season. Look at that, $12,000 in the bank, and we somehow have 29 fans. <laughs> Some 29 fans out there. And to end the video, let's check for an offer on this next race, which I believe is at Dover, and we do receive an offer. See you guys next time. Bye.